Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Keyboard Chronicles episode. Today we will be talking about... I kick! And while I go ahead and get things set up for gameplay, I want to note that I never actually played Dive Kick on the keyboard during my effort to transition away from Gamepad. That's why this video is listed as Episode Zero, but I wanted to highlight it nonetheless. In case you aren't familiar with it, Dive Kick is a parody fighting game that uses only two buttons for gameplay. One to jump or dive into the air, and another to kick down at an angle. Pressing the kick button while on the ground allows you to jump backward. And that's it. Beyond dive kicking or jumping back, there is no way to move about the screen. Because of this, the position of your character is even more crucial than it is with average fighting games, because you can't easily reposition yourself without committing to considerable frame animation. In addition, the fact that each match is decided by a single blow, and you can understand even better the severity of placement on the stage. At the beginning of the game, you can select from a fair assortment of characters, each possessing their own style of play. Some characters dive faster than others, some have different hitboxes, or entirely different attacks based on alternating stances. In other words, the roster is more than just copy-paste clones. After selecting your character, you can select a gem in the vein of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which can slightly boost some trait of your character. After that, it's all about the fight itself. The game is set on a first of five or best of nine format, and as mentioned before, each round is decided by one hit. Now, while there are only two buttons to the gameplay, you can use them in conjunction to do a special move once your meter fills up high enough. The meter is the shoe in the bottom corner of the screen. While playing the computer, I typically forget about the special moves and focus more on trying to react to what they do. But in reality, each character has two special moves, one that uses less meter than the other. Once the meter fills all the way, Kick Factor is automatically initiated. Kick Factor boosts your character's speed until it drains out entirely, and it does carry over across rounds, both in regards to filling up and depletion once activated. Getting back to the characters, several of them are parodies or homages of fighting game characters or persons involved in the fighting game community. Some, like Kenny, were added per Kickstarter backers paying to bring them in, and there are guest characters, like Johnny Gat from Saints Row, that were added a year later in an updated version of the game, Edition Edition Plus. The final boss of Dive Kick is a character named S-Kill, named after Seth Killian, the former Capcom community manager during its Street Fighter 4 years, and the person Street Fighter 4's boss, Seth, is named after. In Dive Kick, S-Kill has teleportation and parry abilities, and the character's stationary pose features Seth Killian's distinctive hand-crossing technique, wherein his right hand controls the arcade stick and his left hand presses the attack buttons. Due to the nature of this game having only two buttons to contend with, it's obvious that it isn't difficult to play on a keyboard. 
However, I think it's so limited that you aren't going to gain much of anything related to keyboard training by playing it. That shouldn't hinder you from enjoying it, of course. The game itself is surprisingly addictive and both pokes fun of and pays tribute to fighting games as a whole. The humor can be hit or miss, but in a silly, corny way, I did enjoy it. At the time of recording, this game is being sold on Steam for $4.99 American. Some may find it a bit of a steep price to pay, and that's understandable. But if it goes on sale, or you can find it cheaper, I would actually recommend it. A bit of a caveat here. I never played the game online, and suffice to say that trying now just confirmed the presumption that online is dead. So, if you are going to pick up this game, do it with the focus of it being a single-player game and savor that. Unless you have a friend who's just dying to play this with you. Now, oh, with all that said, I'll shut up and, as always, allow you to enjoy the rest of the gameplay in peace. Fraud Yes, from above! Round one, die kick! Field assault! What? Round two, die kick! The secret life of me! Oh, Hector! Round three, die kick! Seven pounds! Round four, die kick! The secret life of bees! Fraud detection, warning. Fraud detection, warning. Round five, die kick! Fraud detected. Fraud detected. Yes, from above! Round one, die kick! It is your overflow! Round two, die kick! Round
Yes, from above! Round one, I kick! <laughs> Round two, I kick! End <laughs> shot! Total to failure! Round three, I kick! Double kill! Round four, I kick! Merit is here! Defeated! Round five, I kick! I hold on a pick! Round six, I kick! Yes, from above! Round one, I kick! <laughs> two two variables! Round two, I kick! From above! Round one, die kick! Boss! Round two, die kick! Eat this! Eat this! End shot! Respect! Round three, die kick! Here. Round four, I kick. Karate. Fraud detection warning. Fraud detection warning. Round five, I kick. Oh, yeah. Eat this. Fraud detected. Fraud detected. Yes, from above! 
ラウンドワン大キック Calculations point to victory. Game over. Die, k 
kick! <laughs>